Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we're going to look at how you can recreate a standard DJ mixer in Ableton Live. Because Ableton Live is as much a DAW as it is a DJ software, you can really customize the interface and the mixer to your liking. Most DJ mixers are the same across all of their individual channels, so it makes it really easy to create a DJ mixer in Ableton Live by simply working on one channel and then duplicating it. The first thing we're going to do is get rid of the default MIDI channel that comes with any new Ableton Live set, as we're not going to be needing that. Next, we're going to want to enlarge our channel so it gives us a little bit more space to view our track information. So we'll go up to the top here and simply drag this out to make the channel a little bit wider. The next thing we're going to do is enlarge the VU meter section. If you go down to the bottom here and then click and drag up, you can see that we now have the decibel levels next to our VU meter. This will help us out to see how loud our tracks are. One of the most important aspects of any DJ mixer are the EQs. We're going to go and open up our live devices. Then under audio effects, we're going to go down and add an EQ3 to this audio channel. Another standard feature of DJ mixers is the crossfader. To open up the crossfader section in Ableton Live, go and click on this X button here on the right. Now we can assign the crossfader to our individual channels. So what we're going to do now is go to our channel and duplicate it as many times as we want. By duplicating it four times, you have created a four channel mixer. If we want, we can then go and assign those to different sides of the crossfader. So right now we have four individual channels that each have an EQ3 on them. If we want to take this to the next level, we can always go and open up our send and returns by clicking the S and R button. Now we can add effects like a flanger or a filter delay to the different returns. By using these knobs, we can send the audio to the return channels and add effects that you would commonly find on something like the DJM 800. At this point, you are now ready to start MIDI mapping the functions inside of Ableton Live to your MIDI controller.